For the first time in four years, Republicans have won a majority in the U.S. Senate. This is、uh, certainly a happy day for the GOP. Republicans secured their expected wins in the key swing state of Pennsylvania. It looks like we're headed in a very good direction. And in Texas. Democrat Colin Allred failed to beat Republican Senator Ted Cruz. I will fight for you, for your jobs, for your safety, and for your constitutional rights. All 435 seats in the U.S. House of Representatives were also up for re-election, with Republicans expected to hold on to their control of the lower chamber. In the Senate races, Democrats did secure wins in California. I'm committed to taking on the big fights to protect our freedoms and to protect our democracy. Control of the Senate was decided by a few key races, where the outcome was uncertain. Races such as in Ohio and in Montana, where Republican Tim Sheehy beat incumbent Democratic Senator John Tester. So I want to thank the American people. With control of the U.S. Senate, Trump will be able to confirm his nominees to the highest court in the land, the U.S. Supreme Court, and has a smoother path to passing his legislative agenda. With a majority for for Donald Trump, he can not only confirm his cabinet secretaries without having to get Democratic support, but also sub cabinet secretaries. There's thousands of appointments to be made within the executive branch. And especially within the courts, Republicans last controlled both chambers of Congress during the first two years of Trump's first term as president in 2017. Catherine Gibson, VOA News.